So here's the new Toshiba Flash Air. Uh, what is that? The Flash Air card is an SD card, an 8 GB SD card combined with a uh, wireless LAN access point. So you have full access to the card via a wireless access point. So you can browse from your laptop, your uh, tablet, even your smartphone. You can browse to the content inside the card. So I can demonstrate to you. If I, I do now a new picture here from someone. Yeah. It's now storing just like before, no, normally like on no the picture. SD card. Yeah. The card is uh, storing this picture like before. This device is connected with wireless LAN to this device. So I can say, okay, I want to update here. And now the new picture is here. Nice. And it's, well, it's unfortunately taking a little more time yeah. because we have so much problems here with the connection. But now nice. it's here. the same here for, for a smartphone. The smartphone can also reload. Is it, uh, is it going through a router or is it Wi-Fi direct? Wi -Fi direct direct. direct support. Direct Wi-Fi? Yes. And so you can even put point-to-point uh, -point connection. You could do another as a flash act to another device and have a direct connection. Um, and all the other features you want to have. No need for a router? No. No need for a local network? No. Is it better with a local network or no. the same? It's, so you can do it or you don't Of have course to you could do it, yes. Yeah? But it's not necessary. The, the big advantage is you have full access to the configuration of this access point. You can set the SSID name as you like. You can set the uh, security as you like. VPA, web, whatever you like. And you can uh, set the address IP of this uh, card. So you're, you making like. a, you're, you're making a hotspot? With the SD card. Exactly. And that's different from the other company that's doing something? They don't do that um, or they also do that? The, the core system is of course yeah. the same. You have access via wireless LAN. Yeah. But we have we give you the direct access to configuration of the card on the card itself. So the card is not blocked or whatever. You have uh, full control of what you would like to do with the card. No special feature needed. So right now it's only 8 gigabyte version is yes. going to come? How soon is it going to market? Uh, we will sample in November this year. Yeah. And mass production is ready uh, February next year. So the SD provides the power to this SD card and there's a chip processor inside? Exactly. Is it ARM? Uh, no, it's a, I'm not sure what, is, uh, what kind of technology it is. It's a baseband and, and an RF chipset inside. Uh -huh. um, but it's something programmable in there, no? Well, it's actually like you, you configure it with a config file. So there's, a, there's just a normal, very simple config file stored yeah. on the card. You can edit it like you want and, and set the config as you want But there's to no firmware update for it um, well, to add functionality. If you want to add YouTube to it, it yes. has to be in the camera, you cannot add it in the card. Not in the card, but you can add it on the PC as, an, as a piece of software, you can edit as, a, as an app on the Android. Yeah. Uh, the card itself doesn't help to do this. It can, for sure, it will not be able to do it. Um, our, our system wants to be more simpler. Uh, so that the access to the card is very simple. So if you start with this card the very first time, yeah. it's so easy. You just put it in the card, you power it on, your PC will find a new wireless LAN. And you say, okay, please connect to this wireless LAN. And you can even find the name, Flash Air. You connect, and from this point onwards, so just can five, I take six. It out? Is it okay? Yes, of course. Yeah. So this is the From card? this point onwards, you can have. Full access, like you, like I showed you with a browser, to this. Nice. Is it hot? Actually, because I is continue the charging it, the uh, the accu is a little bit hot. Yes, but yeah. it's not because of the card. All right. How much will it cost? Around fifty to sixty euro. Fifty to sixty euro. Cool. How much more is that from a normal SD card? Well, it's depending on the, on the speed class. We have now a speed class 6 card here. Class 6, yeah? Yes. Um, so it's like 30, 40 euro extra? So, so, which part of this is doing the Wi-Fi? Is it like half of it is memory, the other half is Wi-Fi? That's a good question. I haven't seen it broken up. Uh, so, they added it to the standard memory. 